this is mist os for the realme gt2 so i've been using this rom for more than a week now and i'll be running you through my usage experience and my you know kind of overview of this rom so it is android 15 and it comes with this uh, rashomon kernel the build date is february 8th 2025 now i've been using this rom for uh, you know around a week now and i'll be sharing my usage experience first things first uh, when setting up this rom you do get some aosp apps like this uh, music app a voice recorder app and so on it reminds me of the base lineage os you know initially when i was setting up the rom uh, google pay did not work i mean, it was showing that the device is uh, unverified but i was able to fix it by going into settings uh, mystify then into spoofing options and uh, updating the play integrity fix so when it asks for a system restart if you give okay all your uh, you know like all your banking apps will be working again apart from that as you saw in the very beginning this rom has the mystify section where all the customization resides so you do have a lot of customization you know uh, throughout the ui starting from all this boot animation style icon pack and everything and into the what to say tweaking stuff like your spoofing uh, you do have your like uh, google photos unlimited storage you can customize all you know aspects an interesting thing i found is that the this rom has those shake gestures which are popular in motorola phones so you can adjust the sensitivity by default the sensitivity is too low that uh, it triggers automatically like uh, way too much so i have increased its sensitivity you also have your uh, you know three finger gestures so i made it that uh, holding on with three fingers expands the quick settings panel i am also happy to report that this rom does not have the animation bug so you know you can launch apps very quickly without any problems uh, i'll be showing so you can see there is no animation bug which is a very big positive because many android 15 roms have it this rom also has game modes uh, it actually it has uh, it's not a good thing it has both the google you know the google game mode and its own game mode it has all the features i have tested out the gaming performance i have played bgmi uh, 90 fps is not unlocked by default uh, it is smooth plus extreme which is 60 fps but it's uh, it's stuck at 60 fps for most of the time you know it did not drop frames too much or something anything so yeah overall gaming performance was also very positive and this is one of the very few android roms at this point where ai video recording is working this rom also comes with two of my you know favorite toggles which is very good for ease of use which is the enabled 5g toggle you can switch between network modes 4g and 5g you also have a refresh rate toggle right here which you can you know use to turn you know switch between refresh modes so that when you want to save battery you can set it to 60 hertz on the fly you also have your various display color modes like uh, your x reality engine and the triluminous display I have used this, uh, you know, uh, the X-Reality engine, you know, the color tuning seems a little off for me. So I have personally turned it off, but yeah, if you use it, it works. So these were the good things about the ROM. Uh, you know, some things that are not really good, but I'm okay with is, first thing is that the padding can be definitely improved. You can see that the clock is shifted slightly away from the punch hole. Secondly, there is no Dolby Atmos implementation you know some people are okay with it some you know i've heard people reporting about uh, voice distortion without dolby atmos i have noticed it in very specific scenarios but you know the distortion is not enough for a cause of concern for myself but yeah the dolby atmos implementation is absent in this rom you know one small thing uh, it is not really a problem but you know i do miss the assistant voice typing which comes with pixel os this has the regular voice typing which works fine for the most part but yeah i do appreciate the assistant typing talking about the bugs or problems i encountered with this rom uh, i don't have much to talk about this rom it is actually very good uh, two things i will talk about one is that the auto brightness is very bad in this rom like it's not it's not okay it is just straight up you know you have to do a lot of manual input i have cranked it up manually i thought it will learn but i did not i am having to do it often the second thing is that you know uh, this rom does not overheat as uh, as such but yeah it does show some signs of heating it's not overheating in any sense but it does tend to warm up when using probably a restart will fix it i'm not sure so that has been it for my overall experience of using mist os official for the poco f1 oh sorry <laughs> for the realme gt2 
this is one of the very few official roms for this phone so that is a welcome difference if you care about that kind of stuff yeah apart from that overall it has been a very good rom you know it has been a very good all-rounder rom for me yeah only the auto brightness was a hindrance apart from that everything worked perfectly even the auto brightness is not a deal breaker for me so yeah overall a positive experience of using this rom